This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar exploring third-party panels for Adobe Premiere Pro. In this excerpt, I want to show you one from Pond5. You can learn more by visiting pond5.com. Most extensions, though not all of them, can be found under Window Extensions, and there's Pond5. Pond5 opens up in, a, in its own window, but we can grab it and dock it back as we can any other window, and it now is part of the interface with Premiere. This opens up the Pond5 selection window. Press the tilde key and we'll enlarge it full screen. When you join and become a member, you get 50 free pieces of media. Now, one thing I discovered as I was doing rehearsal, you see this button down here that says Add All to Cart? <laughs> it's broken, and uh, Pond5 has acknowledged it. I'm running uh, version 0.8.3, and uh, they broke it. So we have to do this individually as opposed to adding them all at one time. The big benefit to Pond5 is we are now able to search from within Premiere anything inside the Pond5 interface. For instance, we could type Balloon, and everything that has a balloon related to it, we just simply hover the mouse over the balloon. We can see the footage, see what the price is, and decide, well, that's, that's worth looking at. Maybe we want to add this to our collection that we're working with for our project. See, the problem that I have with stock footage is I never know what I need until I've tried it out. And I can't afford to buy everything because it's just too expensive. What Pond5 gives us the ability to do is to download a low-res version for free and with just a couple mouse clicks instantly switch out the low-res version for the high-res version when we have our project edited and we know what we want. Let me give you an example. Notice that I don't have anything inside the project panel. I'm just going to double-click this clip. It downloads the clip in a low-res version and now I've added that clip into my project. Now it's got a watermark in it. It's not high quality. It's not suitable for air, but it does give me the chance to play with it. So let's just create a new sequence and edit this clip into it. We're not going to change the sequence settings. We're going to keep the existing settings. And now I've added this balloon footage in. Now it's just a placeholder. It doesn't necessarily fill the frame, though I can select the clip, go to up to effect controls and change the scale so that it does fill the frame so I get a better sense of how it's going to fit with the rest of my stuff. I can then trim it however I see fit, just like any other clip. So I've got this placeholder. Here's where the magic of the Pond5 extension comes in. Let's go back to Pond5. Let's go Extensions, Pond5. And notice that I have a sequence here. This has a single clip in it, but it could have 10 clips or 50 clips. When I'm ready to replace the low-res version with the high-res version, I click this button right here. It says Replace with High-Res Clip. Let's clear the list and click here. It says, What sequence do I want to use? I want to use Sequence 1 because that's the one that I just edited that contains all of my low-res clips. Click OK. And it says, OK, the selected high-res clips will be replaced. Now, do I want one which is 4K or HD? I want one that's HD. So I can click the one that I want. It shows me it's going to cost me $65 and click OK. It then goes into the store and charges my account or charges my credits. Well, this is wonderful, but I want to be able to play with this first to see how it works. This is so cool. Watch this. Let's go back up to here and click 50 free. When you install the Pond5 add-on, it gives you access to 50 free clips. Let's say that I really want this particular clip. Okay, I've now downloaded this, and so we'll just edit this into our sequence, same as before. We'll keep the settings. Now I want to, to get the high-res version. When I click Replace with High-Res Clip, I select the sequence, and it's already free, so I don't have to pay any money. I just have to say, okay, do it. It will then download the clip. Notice how it's downloading here. It's 239 megabytes in size. Downloading that's going to interfere with this webinar, so I'm going to cancel it. But as soon as it's downloaded, Premiere will, in the background, swap out the low-res version for the high-res version without me having to do anything. This is really cool. And the real benefit is that we have the power of search inside Premiere. We can search for footage.
we can search for music, we can ser search for sound effects, and their public domain section, they have probably the most extensive public domain historical footage that goes back to the very earliest days of filmmaking, back to the 1800s. For people who are doing documentaries, you need to explore the public domain section of Pond 5. It has some amazing footage. The extension is free. 50 clips are free, so you can play with the clips and see how the conversion from low-res to high-res works without having to spend a dime. And then if you decide that this is something you want to continue, because it's integrated tightly with Premiere, you can set up an account with Pond5. And, and again, downloading low-res costs nothing until you find out that you need it and say, yep, that's the clip that I need. And then it's a two or three mouse click process to change the low-res to the high-res. This is a really cool feature that I like a lot. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar exploring third-party panels for Adobe Premiere Pro CC. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 204. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,400 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth, and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.